Matter of fact, before you go on, um, give me a um, Le Leviticus 23, verse 3. Before you go, let me read this one here. All right? Le the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 3. It's a law that we read it pertaining. It's, this is a law that you must keep okay. if you want to repent. Yes, bro. All right? The book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 3. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So you believe in keeping the Sabbath holy? You believe that this, um, we must keep the Sabbath, right? The Sabbath is what? The Saturday? Sunday? The seventh day. The first day. What, what is the first day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. Therefore, the seventh day will be Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's the seventh day. So that's the Sabbath day. But you go into Christianity is not keeping the Sabbath day holy. So now you're changing and you're learning this truth because Christ said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now you're learning this truth. Every, all this Saturday, thing is, Saturday, Saturday morning to Saturday dark. Friday, dark. Friday when it's dark because the day begins when it's dark. So Friday, you're going to the Sabbath. Right. right now. When, the, when the place is dark Friday night, to Saturday night, that's the Sabbath. So that means you're saying fasting. No. My point is, this is the Sabbath day. And there's something that is required of you to do on the Sabbath day. Now that you're learning this truth before you never know. Because you consider going to Christianity and congregating there. You're keeping the Sabbath. What is that? All right, so read that to me. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 3. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. And holy convocation, the word convocation, it means a holy gathering. Holy convocation is a holy gathering. Holy, don't forget that word, holy. Not an ungodly gathering with, with um, not going back to Christianity. Because give me, hold on. All right, go ahead. Ye shall do no work. That's what I want. A holy convocation. Give me Psalms chapter one. All right. So a holy gathering is a holy convocation is a gathering that you have to come congregate. You understand? Congregate on the Sabbath day. That's the law right there that you got to start to keep. So you got to keep along with us. All right. All right. So drop that and give me the book of Hosea chapter seven verse eight. All right. Hosea chapter seven verse eight. Because I. I want you to understand that this image of Christ, you understand this image that you see right here, which is the, the Christ that the Bible speaks of, not because you have a complexion, it doesn't mean that doesn't pertain to you. I just want to be, I know you, the officers bring it out and I know you understand, but I want to read it from the Bible please. Hosea chapter seven and verse eight. He broke, he had mixed himself among the people. So, when it says Ephraim, it's talking about the other tribes because they call it Ephraim just like they call the, 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 uh, the tribe of Benjamin, Le uh, Judah and Levi, they call them Judah. You understand? They call them Judah. The same thing with y'all, the rest of the tribes. The Puerto Rican mix and call them, let's call them Ephraim. He said what? We got a gift. Ephraim! He had mixed himself among the people. So Ephraim mixed himself among the people. We gotta understand what it meant, what, what the Bible is saying when it says that these tribes have mixed itself among the people. It's talking about when the conquistadors conquered yeah, the tribes, they mixed themselves among the, the people. Let's find out what it means by they mixed themselves. Read. Ephraim is a cake. Not turn. Even, even Simeon, when it says even, it's talking about Simeon too, is a king not turned. Now, if I have a king, right, on one side, it, 
A king not two. You get me out of the description of a king not two. Let me see if you get it. Pineapple, uh, no. no, a cake, not turn. For example, a pancake. If you cook in a pancake and you don't turn it, what's going to happen? Turn burn. Okay, black. Dark. Okay, the size going to be dark? No. Right, so read that part again. Eat, bro. It's a cake, not turn. So, we keep in mind, we just read that he has mixed himself among the people. Who are the people that will... That 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 yard that conquered the Dominicans and the and the Puerto Ricans, the Spaniard, the, the Caucasian. So the scripture is saying that you have, you these tribes have mixed yourself amongst the Caucasian. Read on, read on again. Ephraim is a cake not turned. So that's why you will find some of the uh, tribes, part of the people, looking what. Darker than the other. A cake not turned. You understand? So, my point of bringing out this scripture is to show you that you have your people had that same color. Because you mix yourself among the people, that's why you, you have lighter complexion and your hair is like that. You had woolly hair, all of that. You understand? That's what happened. But you ain't got to worry about it. You understand? You gotta worry about it because once you once you are Israelite, you are Israelite. You understand? So now, give me um, give me go back to the give me to the world. All right. So, you have any questions? They want to be a slave again, right? Yes. But who gonna fight with them? Who gonna fight with them because? Who is going to fight with them? Give me, who you want, Zachariah? Give me Zachariah, chapter 4, 12, 12 on it. Give me 12 on it. You understand? That's a good question because we are not the ones that are going to come up against our oppressors that in power right now. Christ is the one. All right? We. Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. God, in that day, read that again. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. When that time come, when we are living here in this land, Christ is going to come and defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. But when he do that, Go back to, um, you know what, give me um, Revelation 3 and 9. Revelation chapter 3 verse 9. Because it said, so Christ is the one who's going to come back and do what he got to do to the other nations. Alright, read. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. But do lie. So Christ said he's going to make these people who say that they are Jews and all the other nations but do lie. What are you going to do? Read. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Give me 3 and 12. Give me 3 and 12. Give me Revelation 3 and 12. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. 226. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works. So, any one of the Israelites that overcome what? The lies that been taught to you and overcome what? Sin. Because guess what? There's a lot of things like, for example, something simple as eating pork. You put temptation. Anything that is sin, you overcome it and you apply what this Bible says to do, you overcome Christianity and white Jesus. You understand? Anything. So guess what? It's time to learn everything this Bible says so you can know to overcome it and put it aside. Convert to change from it and come back to this. Give that overcoming. Read it again. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Christ is going to give us power 
over the nations. Christ is the one. The Mosa is the one that sent Christ. And Christ is the one going to do all of that. You understand? Christ is the one. But you know what's going on now? Give me Ezekiel 16 and 40. That's what I want, right? Some fishers and their hunters. Jeremiah 16 and 40. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16 and verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So, Passover is a holy day that we keep and we celebrate because God delivered us from the Egyptians. And that's our nation that he delivered. But we're not going to be keeping, we're not going to be saying that soon. You know what we're going to be saying soon? Guess what? We. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of the north. America is the land of the north. God is going to deliver us from America when the nuclear destruction comes to this place. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to know who we are and come back to serve in the most high. We know it. And from all the lands, whether he had driven them. Because guess what? We celebrated West India Day. You understand? We call ourselves Trinidadians, Jamaicans. God scattered us throughout all the earth. You understand? Dominican. God did it because we did not keep his laws. We don't. And I will bring them again into their own land that I gave unto their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishes. And that's what you see going on right now. Now we are fishing for the Israelites that are going to repent. That's what's going on right here now. Christ said, I'm going to send for fishers. Because you see we bring it out this way according to as it written, right? We, did you see us give you our own interpretation on anything? Exactly because, guess what? This is God's word. You understand? We don't. Save the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters. So then, after Christ sent for, after we gather the 12 tribes and they come back and they ever come and start keeping the laws and that number seal up, what are you going to do? And after will I send for many hunters. Guess what the hunters going to do? When Christ said, when he said for hunters, guess what's going on? And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. See that? They're going to be hiding. In what? You see they're even preparing the two day purpose. Purpose the underground bunkers, all of that. What Christ said, that the Israelites are keep his laws. When he sent for these hunters, what they're going to do? Read again. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Because a lot of people think that God not see the wickedness that these other nations do. Every nation got their judgment. And your judgment was slavery to breaking God's laws. That's what happened to us, brother. We got judged because of our sins. And God has judgment for the other nations. America is the last nation to rule this earth according to Bible prophecy. And it's going to be destroyed with nuclear destruction. That's right. But we don't. Neither is there iniquity hid from mine eyes. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. So you see that? Double. God is the one going to do everything, but he's the one going to give us more. Brother, my brother over here. One question. Come over, man. We here for you, brother. We here for you. Sure. My name is Al Tobiah. Nice to meet you, bro. Kelvin, Kelvin. Kelvin. All right, Kelvin. So you heard about this street before already? A little bit. A little bit? All right. So what do you know so far? What's your nationality? Um, what is the nationality? My parents are from Trinidad and Tobago. Your parents from Trinidad and Tobago. Your father or your mother? Both. Both? My entire family. Okay. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. I was born there. But... 
Look at this other brother right here. Is he your of your nation? All right, so he, before he knew the shoot, he called himself Black America. That's two different nations. But you guys are the same nation, right? What's going on? What happened? We, separation. Separation. Who did that separation? You tell me. Give me Psalms 83. Because guess what? We still living in a stupor, man. We still sleeping after the Mosa is waking us up with this truth. They spent billions of dollars to keep us destroyed. But we still sleeping when the Mosa is revealing this by the church. Read them. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 1. Please listen carefully, Calvin. Read. Keep not thou silence, O God. So this was David, a black man. All of the great men in this Bible was black men. Right. They were of our nation. You understand? Everything been whitewashed. You understand? The slave master, they had the Bible, but they wasn't reading this Bible. We were, we, we never learned to read, read this Bible. So now we're reading it for ourselves because the most I have us to, we could read now. Read on. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. David was prophesying. He's in the spirit. He said, don't keep silence, O God. Don't hold your peace. Read. And be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies. For lo, God, your enemies. So God have enemies. And today you're going to learn who are God's enemies and who are your enemies. Do you love God? You don't love God. That's a good answer. All right, read on. For lo, thine enemies. Make a tumult. So God's enemies made an uproar. You understand? Read on. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They are private people. All right? We're going to find out what's going on here. I need you to listen up. Read. They have taken crafty counsel. They have taken crafty counsel. What does crafty counsel mean? What does crafty counsel mean? You don't know. Crafty. What is crafty? Right, smart. Right, trick. Subtle. Sneaky. Crafty. Witty. They have taken what is the counsel? Right. They get it together and they're having a meeting. So they take crafty counsel. Read that again. They have taken crafty Council against thy people. So the council was against God's people. Stop right there and give me Second Chronicles 17, 22. Thy people. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. This is the precept. This precept is going to explain who is thy people. All right? 17, 22. This is the book of Second Chronicles. Chapter 17. And verse, verse, so, verse 22. Verse 22. For thy people, Israel, didst thou make thy own people forever. So you see that? God made thy people, Israel, God made his people forever. And that's forever. So go back to Psalms 83. For they have said, Come and let us cut us. Pardon me. Verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel against the Israelites. The Israelites consist of 12 tribes. When you read that right there, look at the sign. 12 tribes. When you read the Bible, you're going to see these are the Israelites. Okay? According to Deuteronomy chapter 28. They are the only people that fit the curses. Read on. And consulted against thine hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. You heard what the nation said? This is what the nations did. Listen up carefully because we still lost want to celebrate Labor Day. Call right. ourselves Trinidadians, right. Jamaicans. We are lost. The nations are the ones that destroy you with these things. What the nations said, read that scripture. They have said, come. Let us cut them off from being a nation. We are not considered a nation scattered amongst all these nations. We are living 
at the bottom amongst these nations in serving class. We are not considered a nation. We, we are called different names. They cut us off from being a nation by giving us, they called you what? Dominican. God, dog, dog, God, dog of gods. Huh? Dogs of God. They call you black American. You understand? They call you Negro. They call you Jamaican, West Indian. This is was crafty concern that the nation did against God's holy people. But we don't care. We don't care. We walk around boasting, calling ourselves West Indians, right. calling ourselves black Americans. Right. But guess what? It's time to wake up. Because when you know that you are God's holy people, that's going to bring changes amongst the community. That's going to deliver you from the conditions you're living in. Because we think this is life when we're selling a little drugs and making some money. Right. We think this is life when we get a good job, when we play basketball for these other nations and entertain them. This is not life. We are supposed to be a nation of people. Read it again. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. This is what the nation did. The, because there's an importance in you blacks and Hispanics knowing your nationality, knowing that you are the Israelites. The nations know that, but you don't care. And when we're teaching our people today, they still don't care. There is an importance of us knowing our nationality. Because guess what? When we find out Christ is black, and we are God's holy people, and we let me show you. Give me Romans 9 verse 4. Romans chapter 9 verse 4. Because in church, there's a reason that why they don't teach you that you are God's holy people. The Israelites. There's a reason why they do that. Read. Romans chapter 9 and verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Imagine our people get to understand and believe this we are about to read right here. Read it again. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? The adoption meaning Christ died on the cross to bring, to bring us back to the Most High God. You understand? That's the adoption. You know what? And the glory. The glory is the kingdom of heaven. Knowing that you are Israelite, but that means that this pertains to me and I'm going to get the kingdom of heaven. All this that is written in this book. So that means that I gotta live, change my life to live righteous. So there is importance in knowing your nationality, it brings the change. You understand? We don't. And the covenants and the giving of the law. The covenants was with the Israelites and it's still with the Israelites. The giving of the law was given to Moses to give to the Israelites and it's still with the Israelites. We don't. And the service of God. The Israelites are the only people who can serve God. They did in this Bible, the King James Version Bible, in any Bible, you will never see that the service of God belongs to the other nations. We, too long, we have this book and we don't read. We are people that hate to read, but now is the time. And it's good that you start to come to the truth because guess what? You're going to get all these benefits. Read on. And the promises. Promise. What is the promise? Somebody promises something. What is God's promise to the Israelites? That's it. Everlasting life. That's it. Everlasting life is promised only to you. But what you must do? Matthew 19 and 17. So don't let go. Don't go to the pastor. Don't go back. Because when you go and ask him, He's going to tell you, you ain't got to keep no laws no more. He's going to tell you, you can eat pork, First Timothy 4. That's what he's going to tell you. All right, read. Matthew chapter 19, verse 17. This is Christ's words. Christ on the sea, New Testament. All right? Don't let nobody change your mind from this truth. All right, read on. Verse 17. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So the man is asking Christ. This is why everyone's supposed to be asking right now. 
knowing that, guess what? We are the Israelites. What well, we got to do to get these promises? Because the promises is soon. Daniel prophesied that this is the last kingdom, the fourth beast to rule this earth. And then guess what? We're going to get everlasting life after that. The man is asking Christ, what must I do to get eternal life? Read on. And he said unto him, this is what Christ said unto the man, read. Why callest thou me good? Because Christ was given all the praises to the Most High God. That's what he was doing. There is none good but one that is God. But if thou will enter into life. But if you want to get eternal life. But if you want to get eternal life. This is what Christ said for all you people who don't believe that you have to keep these laws no more. Read. Keep the commandments. This is what Christ said. Your pastor don't teach you that in church, sister. Your pastor don't teach you that. You must come back to keeping the most high commandments for you to get eternal life. You must separate from Christianity. You understand? Because guess what? What God said in um, Exodus 20, verse 1, verse 2. What did God say? Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So he's speaking to the Israelites that he brought out of Egypt. Read on, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So when you in Christianity, it doesn't matter what Christianity you go in, you are in the midst of idolatry. Because this is not Jesus Christ. And most I now give me, read that again first. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. This is not our head Christ. This is not a God. You understand that, brother? So now give me John chapter 14, verse 9. Because what does the scripture say about Christ? What color is Christ's skin? Black, right? All right, so now read that for me. This is the book of John, chapter 14, and verse 9. Verse 8. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. So Philip was asking Christ, show us the Father. We're talking about the most I know. Show us the Father, and it's going to satisfy us. Read on. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Philip, he that hath seen me, hath seen the Father. So Christ said, if you see me, I look just like my Father. Now give me Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. You understand? So what, did Christ, what was Christ saying there? My Father looked like me. Exactly. And what color is Christ? Exactly. So what color is the more side? Right. What, what texture here? What do you hear? All praises to the most. Christ said, "Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Shalom, this is, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.